What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. Hope you're all doing very well. We are going to look at both of the trees. That are, What just happened right there? Both of the trees that are available to Survival Hunter in the War Within, the Hero Talent trees, and those are Pack Leader and Sentinel. And we're going to do a little quick comparison on the two of them. I'm going to do a sort of a mini deep dive on them and just show you some of the synergies that I think exist, which TLDR, there's not many. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. The bottom line for almost, I would say, both of these trees for Survival Hunter is that they are kind of disappointing and underwhelming. And it's very sad for me to say that because I love Survival Hunter and I was hoping that these trees would be really good. But that is just the truth, guys. The bottom line is that these trees are very simple. They don't have an enormous amount of synergies. The synergies that do exist in these trees aren't either working right now or... Um, I can't read English properly, and I don't understand what the words are saying. Like, we'll talk about Sentinel Watch in a second. Maybe I'm just bad at reading English. I don't think I am. But uh, this thing doesn't do what it says it does. So let's dive into these trees, and um, I'm going to show you the problems and where these trees could be good. And remember, this is alpha, so Blizzard has time to work on this. But if we've learned anything from the lessons of the past it's that blizzard tends to neglect survival hunter for some reason i don't know why it's sort of like the the ugly stepchild or something anyway let's get into it let's look at sentinel first and then i'll get to pack leader sentinel what does sentinel do essentially sentinel applies sentinel that's it guys that's the whole tree pack it up uh let's go home <laughs> and uh uh, Zuko, thank you for the video. You guys are welcome. We'll see you in the next one, all right? <laughs> this is literally what it does. Your attacks have a chance to apply Sentinel. When Sentinel stacks are higher than three, it has a chance to blow up. That's it. The rest of the tree kind of just supports that. This makes Raptor Strike Mongoose Bite do more damage. When you apply Sentinel, you have a chance to apply an additional stack of Sentinel. Each time Sentinel deals damage, you get an Absorb Shield. That's actually very good. Maybe one of the better nodes in this tree. When you apply Sentinel, you have a 15% chance to apply a second stack, and you're already applying a second stack if they don't already have a stack. It's just Sentinel on Sentinel. It's just applying stacks of Sentinel is what we're doing. Each time Sentinel deals damage, you have a chance to get focus. Okay. Um, these are crowd control ones that literally don't even matter. These are some interesting nodes. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, butchery. Uh, uh, causes the sentinel stacks to explode. It doesn't actually remove a stack. It's just if they have a stack on them, it'll um, butchery or carve will make it blow up. So a little bit more AOE damage. Uh, this is like an execute thing. So any sentinel debuffs will explode when the target dips below 25% health and they have three stacks on them, which they basically always will. You can get a lot of stacks. This is also another execute thing. You get more stacks of sentinel. And then here's the lunar storm. Every 15 seconds, your next wildfire bomb summons a celestial owl that conjures uh, a lunar storm. Okay? An enemy affected by sentinel within your lunar storm gets struck for uh, more damage. Okay? Every 0 0.4 seconds. And then you do more damage to them. So, it's just sentinel. Okay? And it's kind of confusing because I don't really even understand. It's just... Here, Lair. <clears throat> Let me show you what this does. I'm not going to use... Uh, we're going to talk about this talent right here in one second, okay? I promise. Let me just show you. Okay, so there we go. That's the um, that's the Lunar Storm. There's that owl doing a Lunar Storm. You can see they have stacks of Sentinel. And then when I do Butchery, it detonates those stacks. So there you go. I mean, that's it. That, that's literally it. That's your whole tree. Oh, there's another Lunar Storm. Cool. Does it change my gameplay? Not really. No. Not at all, actually. And this is where it really falls short, in my opinion, because I think it could change your gameplay with coordinated assault, but it doesn't really. Come here, pet. This pet's being um, being a dingus. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, we're going to feign death just to get a combat. So here's the other... Um, let's look at this. Sentinel Watch is the big talent that I think could have made this tree really cool, actually. And it just does not seem to be working the way that I understand how to read English. Okay? Whenever the Sentinel, a Sentinel, any Sentinel deals damage, the cooldown of Coordinated Assault goes down by one second, up to 15. That sounds really freaking cool. Okay. This, to me, 
Sounds like we're going to keep applying Sentinel, and then those Sentinels are going to do damage, and then we're going to get CDR. But it doesn't seem to work that way after, like, the initial one target will get hit by Sentinel, and then it will reduce the cooldown of Coordinated Assault by 15 seconds, and then it will never reduce the cooldown again. Now, I don't know if I need to go grab new targets, and if it's only going to... If, if activating a sentinel on a new target is what triggers this, we're going to test that right now. I haven't actually tested that yet, but I like I haven't totally tested. But the bottom line is it doesn't work the way that I think it should, which is like as I apply new sentinels, I get CDR. It doesn't work that way. It does it like once and then it's done. So I'm a handy dandy stopwatch here. We're going to jump in with Coordinated Assault. Watch the cooldown of Coordinated Assault very closely at the beginning of this fight. Please watch it because that's the only time that I can show this. Um, okay, ready. So we're going to jump in. Press stopwatch. Watch Coordinated Assault. 56, 54, 53, okay, 50, 48, and then it's kind of done. 44, 43, 41, 38, 35, 32. Now, is it going to keep doing it? I, I don't know. It's going down normally now. So we might have carved off 30 seconds or something. But like, I'm doing sentinel damage right now, I think. But it's not reducing its cooldown. You see what I'm saying? It's still just going down very slowly. I'm doing my other abilities. I'm applying stacks of sentinel to enemies. And uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Nothing's happening. Let's get another... There, Even my lunar bomb guy doesn't do anything. There's do... Let's do Fury of the Eagle. Fury of the Eagle is applying new Sentinel stacks and nothing is happening. Okay, so let's try going over here, I guess. We apply new Sentinel. Did that reduce the cooldown there? I think it might have. Let's do over here. So I don't think the cooldown's moving at all. Do you guys see what I'm saying? I'm applying new stacks of Sentinel and nothing is happening. So I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Do you guys understand that? Somebody... Go get in the comments and let me know what you think this means because I don't understand what's going on here and I know how to read English. Pretty sure, anyway. So, um, Pat, get over here. Bruh. Get over here. I told you to get over here. What are you doing? What you doing, huh? So, yeah, that's concerning to me because this could be really cool. This could bring coordinated assault from like a two minute cooldown down to a one minute cooldown. And then now we're talking. That would be significant. That would actually be significant. But right now, it's carving off between 15 and 30 seconds or something, and I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to my brain. I don't understand what's going on here. So this is, to me, the only real significant talent in this entire tree. This other one is for eight seconds after casting co or pressing Coordinated Assault, all your abilities apply Sentinel, which, like, your abilities are applying Sentinel. Do you see how much Sentinel? I was applying Sentinel stacks like crazy. So getting a guarantee, this is like a useless talent in my mind. Cooldown reduction on coordinated assault. That sounds cool to me. That sounds like an angle that we can go down, which is awesome. But like, it doesn't really work from what I can tell. Okay. The shield that you're getting from Don't Look Back, actually good. And I'm getting a shield that blocks up to like 70,000 damage right now. It seems to be capped there. So, given the numbers in the War Within, um, I'm only 437 item level. So that kind of makes sense to me. Hopefully, as we scale an item level, that talent is going to scale up as well. And it's going to get really high. We'll have to wait and see. Um, getting a shield on a hunter is fantastic. Temporarily increasing your maximum HP is a very, very good thing. Especially because it just keeps happening over and over again as you apply, uh, as you deal damage with Sentinel. So that's a really great talent, I think. And then this could be a good talent, but it's not right now because I don't think it's working. Sorry, that stopwatch is still going. So the rest of the talents are kind of just, they're, they're just more of the same. It's kind of lame. So I, I think Sentinel is like pretty boring. It has the potential to be amazing with a coordinated assault setup, but right now it doesn't seem to be working. So uh, I, I, I kind of wish that this was better. It could be better. A one minute coordinated assault could actually be hella cool. I just, this isn't working right now. Okay. That's Sentinel in a nutshell. Let's go to pack leader. I, if, if if Sentinel is just doing sort of mass AoE damage with these Sentinel buffs and this, like, owl that's shooting down arcane bombs, then Pack Leader, I think, is the single target equivalent, okay? Pack Leader definitely has a little bit of AoE going on, but it focuses almost almost entirely on Kill Command, which is the the what is shared between BM Hunter 
and survival. Sentinels, of course, MM Hunter plus survival. So BM Hunter and survival, you get this like vicious hunt, which makes your kill command prepare your next kill command to do more damage. So the idea is that you're pressing multiple kill commands in a row or like at least you press a kill command, you press mongoose, but you press a kill command, something like that, right? And then you're it, it's setting you up to do more damage that way. That's a lot of what's going on here. There are four nodes in here that are dedicated entirely to your pet's basic attack. Pack coordination, attacking with vicious hunt, which is this thing. That's your next kill command. Attacking with vicious hunt makes your pet attack with their basic attack when you mongoose bite. Your pet's basic attack crits increase your crit damage. Every third pet basic attack is guaranteed to crit. Your pet's basic attacks have a chance to make kill command strike twice, which is good. But like, pet basic attacks are not something that we really love as a survival hunter. They are also tied to coordinated assault. Um, you and your pet are bonded. It's strengthened for 20 seconds. Your pet's basic attacks empower your next ability. No survival hunter likes this mechanic, by the way. If you play survival hunter, you do not like the mechanic where you're waiting for your pet to basic attack, and then you're waiting to see which ability got buffed. You don't really wait around for it in that sense, but you know what I'm saying? If you play survival hunter, you understand what I'm saying. This whole basic attack buffing my next ability is garbage. We don't like that at all. So they're like tripling down on that. I understand basic attacks for like BM hunters are probably a really good thing as well. I get that. But four talent nodes dedicated to your pet basic attacking. Hello. I don't really like that at all. This is a very good uh, defensive node. It's better than the, um, the Sentinel one, in my opinion. Aspect of the Turtle, Survival of the Fittest, and Men Pet now heal for 20% max HP. So you get Aspect of the Turtle healing you. Survival of the Fittest gives you damage reduction and now heals you. Your Exhilaration heals you. So you have a lot of extra healing now, actually, which is pretty pretty awesome. Butchery increases the damage of Butchery. Okay. This whole tree also has a physical damage, um, like, um, focus. Sorry. So you've got like kill command is a physical spell. Your pet's basic attack are, does physical damage. Butchery does physical damage. This is a very, very physical damage heavy tree. Okay. Wildfire bomb reduces the cooldown of butchery. Okay. Not bad. Um, that's actually pretty good because there's nothing else that reduces the cooldown of butchery, by the way. Um, it, it, it reduces the cooldown on wildfire bomb and nothing reduces the cooldown of butchery itself. So you can get a lot more physical AOE damage, I would say, out of... This talent, reducing the cooldown of Butchery. That's actually quite strong. Kill Shot deals an additional 30% damage over 6 seconds and increases the bleed damage you and your pet deal. So there, once again, more physical damage, more bleed damage. Very good, actually. And I, I would argue is going to entirely lock us into Birds of Prey for an entire expansion. because So Bombardier's, Bombardier's kind of dead again, which is really bad. Um, I kind of hate this, actually. They really just need to change Bombardier and change it to this, okay? Here's what Bombardier should say. At the beginning of Coordinated Assault, at the beginning and end of Coordinated Assault, you throw four Wildfire Bombs. That's it. When you press Coordinated Assault, you launch four Wildfire Bombs. When Coordinated Assault ends, you launch four more Wildfire Bombs. Just do that, please. Random Wildfire Bombs that come out. If you've got Wildfire Infusion, of course, they're just going to be random assortments. Just do it like that. You get eight Wildfire Bombs for free. One at the beginning, one at the end. Like, why not? Why not do it that? Way? I, that was just way better. Anyway, you're locked into Birds of Prey, I would say, because of Cold the Herd. Getting those cleaving kill shots, doing extra damage, is very good. Okay. Uh, now this talent here is very, very cool. Furious Assault, but it's currently bugged. I've submitted a bug. Consuming Frenzy Tear, which is this thing. Your pet's basic attacks have a chance to make Kill Command strike twice. That thing. When you press Kill Command and consume that. Uh, your um, consuming frenzy terror is a fifty percent chance to reduce the cost of your next mongoose bite by hundred percent and deal more damage. Okay, that's actually really cool, but it's bugged right now. It's instead of it applying to my next mongoose bite, it's applying to it's just opening a free mongoose bite window for like eight seconds, and I can just mongoose bite for free over and over and over and over and over and over again, and it's kind of disgusting and cool, but like it, it's not correct. Coordinated Assault calls up upon the pack, summoning a pet from your stable. Feels like a bit better of a, more of a BM thing. It could work for survival, but it's more of a BM thing, I think. Vicious Hunt and Pack Coordination now stack and apply twice. And are always active during Coordinated Assault. Again, this sounds cool, but now we're also locked into Coordinated Assault. 
we can't take Spearhead now. Like, there's just not enough talent points unless you're literally going to drop Fury of the Eagle and Ranger. You'd have to drop all these nodes here. You can get one point in Ranger. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. Maybe that's correct. I don't know. The point is, this is tied to Coordinated Assault, which locks us into another talent. Now we're locked into Coordinated Assault, and this locks us into Birds of Prey. There are two talent choices that I think you must take on this build now, which is not good. It's just not good. Um, so here's how it plays, okay? <clears throat> here's the bottom line. You're getting a big buff to your physical damage. You could, uh, I initially played this build by taking Beastmaster and going down and getting Alpha Predator for two charges of Kill Command. I don't think you have to do that. Because if you do, you screw the rest of your bottom tree as a survival hunter. You can't take, like, poison injection, which most people would take. You can't take explosive shot. Um, it's really bad. Like, you have to get rid of a lot of stuff in order to get an extra charge on kill command. So I don't think that's necessarily going to be the play. We can see. Here we go. My pet's out of range. We'll get here in a second. So you're going to jump in, and you can do your normal stuff. For real, pet, come here. We'll get kill command going. You need your pet here. There we go. You can see I have two charges. Vicious Hunt. It stacks twice, so my next kill command will do that. Now, I just consumed one of them. I don't have another kill command up right now, but... Oh, here's the Mongoose Bite window. See how I'm getting Mongoose Bite for free? Look at this. I can just press Mongoose Bite over and over and over and over again. That's not what the talent says, so that's not correct. Pheromone Bomb is going to be a really big bomb here because you can get your kill command procs going. There you go. Vicious Hunt. I got another Vicious Hunt. I can just keep pressing Kill Command over and over and over again with this build um, when you get uh, the Pheromone Bomb. So I think the Red Bomb is going to be very important. Here goes Coordinated Assault. My Kill Shots are doing a lot more damage, and they're cleaving because I have Birds of Prey. There's a Pheromone Bomb. I'm going to alternate between Kill Shot and Kill Command. I'm going to Kill Command, Kill Command, Kill Command because I had the Pheromone Bomb. There's my Kill Shots again. They're doing extra bleed damage. There's definitely like a good amount of damage here. There, my kill command is buffed again. You could make the argument for needing to go get a second kill command. I would say you don't need to do that, but you could. Okay, there's there's an argument there. Um, yeah, that's how this tree works. Your pheromone bomb is going to be the best bomb. Your coordinated assault kill shots are going to do way more damage, which is really really cool. I think the argument could probably be made that this is more of a single target tree. Uh, because of, you're getting those free mongoose bite procs, which are really, really cool. And you're getting, it's all about kill command, which is a single target ability anyway. So, I don't know. I think, I, ideally, this is probably a good single target tree. And then you would probably just drop Fury of the Eagle. And maybe you could actually get down to Spearhead. Um, like, if you think about the talents for a second, get over here. If you just, if you're going pure single target, take three points out of here and go one, two, three... Maybe drop one point in Ranger like I did before and put another point into Deadly Duo. I don't know. The point is, there's probably a single target build here that could work for um, the pack leader one for Survival Hunter. But it's sort of... I don't know. I don't know. We haven't had a tree that focuses this hard on Kill Command, and it's a little bit... I don't know. I don't think it's that great. This is quite good. Get Even if this was working correctly, which gave you one free Mongoose Bite, that's very good. Getting a free Mongoose, that's like a tier set bonus we have right now. So getting a free Mongoose Bite over and over again, getting that thing to, to proc is quite good. And that just procs off of your kill commands. So I think that's actually a great talent. I think the defensive node here, giving you a bunch of healing is a great talent. I don't mind kill command giving us extra damage, um, but... These four pet basic attack nodes are so incredibly boring and they double down, they triple down, quadruple down on a mechanic that most survival hunters don't really enjoy, which is this like pet basic attack thing. It's just you can't control when they do it and, and it just and then it's buffing a certain ability inside your coordinated assault and it's just like it's just not in your control and I don't like that at all. I really don't like that. I would really rather have it so that all of these nodes were were joining in with kill command more. So like, um, I, I don't know, giving you a higher chance to reset kill command, having kill command go off three or four times in a row or something, um, having kill command just just tie it to kill command in some way. Um, maybe like you could give a temporary two charges of kill command when your pet 
lands a critical strike or something and then you don't have to go and take alpha predator to get two charges you can get like a a temporary two charges or something that would be kind of cool but this whole like basic attack just basic attacking and basic attacking doing critical strike it's just weird i don't like it i don't like it there is some utility in the middle here aspect of the cheetah increases movement speed for another uh 15 for eight seconds disengage gives you range that's actually pretty good for survival hunter because that's uh that's very nice for melee mechanics we already have a lot of extra uh, range with lunge Increases the range of your attacks by three yards. This gives us eight yards of range in total. That's actually pretty good when you disengage. Uh, the kill shot node is quite good. I like that. But again, it locks you into birds of prey. And then pack assault locks you into, into coordinated assault. So I don't know. I don't really know what else to say about this other than that. They're, they're kind of boring um, trees. Kill command has never been a massive focus for survival hunter. Um... It is a focus in the sense that you need to press it for other to trigger other things, but nobody wants to do that as a survival hunter. I would rather be spreading more serpent stings. I would rather be doing Fury of the Eagle more. I would rather be doing something with my wildfire bombs. Like I really think that um, survival hunters should have gotten the marksman slash BM tree, which gives you like black arrow um, and like all that cool stuff. Like why didn't survival get that tree? I don't understand. Uh, I understand why they got pack leader, but they should have got the... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm rambling now, but... This tree is kind of underwhelming, and um, so is the other tree. I'm not going to lie. Sentinel, to me especially, has problems. These trees both have serious problems, and we need Blizzard to address them. Both of the identities of these trees don't make sense to me. That's why I'm having such a hard time talking about it. I don't understand the identity of what is supposed to be going on with these trees. This tree for pack leader makes sense for BM hunter. It does not make sense for survival hunter in the same way. The identity is lost. Sentinel is just literally me summoning an owl that does arcane barrages. It has nothing to do with being a survival hunter. Nothing. Except for coordinated assault, which doesn't work. The Sentinel Watch cooling it down doesn't work. So Blizzard really needs to fix these trees, in my opinion. Um, before they go to Alpha, there needs to be an identity crisis here. And they need to fix it so that everybody understands what's going on when they pick Sentinel. And you're understanding what goes on when you pick Pack Leader. Um, that just has to happen. Otherwise, these are just going to be really underwhelming. And you're not going to want to play them. Like Think about these trees compared to Herald of the Sun Paladin. You understand what you're doing as Herald of the Sun. You're friggin' beams of light that you're connecting to other people and you're, you're burning the crap out of them or you're healing your allies. Frostfire Mage understands what it's doing. It is firing these, these Frostfire Bolts that give you Fire Mastery and, and Frost Mastery and it builds up these... You understand what's happening here. What the frick is Sentinel? I don't know. Somebody explain it to me in English because this doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please drop a comment and I would love to hear from all of you down there. Get in the discord, join the family. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.